This is still an active and ongoing investigation, and we are still reviewing and processing evidence at this time. Special agent in charge of the FBI office, Jeff Sillette, is here with me today. Uh, he will be giving a brief statement when I conclude my briefing. It is with heavy heart that the Crystal Lake Police Department reports that we have located what we believe to be the body of Andrew A.J. Friend uh, later this morning or earlier this morning. During the overnight hours, investigators with the Crystal Lake Police Department and the FBI interviewed both the mother, Joanne Cunningham, and the father, Andrew Friend Sr., after information was obtained through a forensic an analysis of cell phone data. Once presented with the evidence obtained by investigators, both Joanne and Andrew Sr. provided information that ultimately led to the recovery, what we believe is the recovery, of deceased subject AJ. Investigators located what they believe to be AJ's body buried in a shallow grave wrapped in plastic in a row area of Woodstock, Illinois. The McHenry County Coroner's Office is on scene with the FBI Evidence Recovery Unit right now as we speak. The cause of death is unknown at this time and it will be, be determined at a later date by the McHenry County Coroner's Office. Based on the current information and evidence, both Joanne Cunningham and Andrew Friend are being charged with the death and disappearance of AJ. Both are in police custody at this time. Joanne Cunningham has been charged with five counts of first degree murder, four counts of aggravated battery, two counts of aggravated domestic battery, and one count of failure to report a missing or child death. Andrew Friend Sr. has been charged with five counts of first degree murder, two counts of aggravated battery, one count of aggravated domestic battery, two counts of concealment of homicidal death, and one count of failure to report missing or child death. On behalf of the Crystal Lake Police Department, I would like to thank the FBI, the McHenry County State's Attorney's Office, and other local, state, and county law enforcement and fire department and emergency management entities. Their assistance was instrumental in bringing closure to this investigation. To AJ's family, it is my hope that you may have some solace in knowing that AJ is no longer suffering and his killers have been brought to justice. I would also like to thank the community for their support and assistance during this difficult time. To AJ, we know you're at peace playing in heaven's playground and are happy you no longer have to suffer. The outcome of this case is a result of the extraordinary efforts of all the investigators directly involved in this case. Because the charges resulting from this investigation are based largely on evidence recovered, we will not be providing any further details in an effort to protect the integrity of this criminal prosecution. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, Chief Black, to members of the community, to AJ's family, our deepest and heartfelt condolences on AJ's loss. This is not the outcome that we want to talk about when we come before you, but it is the unfortunate result in this investigation. I spent the last two hours here with the folks that are conducting this investigation, and I want to tell you how personally proud I am to be a member of the law enforcement community and to call the chief um, a partner and a friend. Listening to the emotion and the commitment that our folks as a team have exhibited over the last six days to bring justice really, really brings a lot of emotion to me. Um, and those emotions are mixed. One is that emotion of pride to be part of something that is positive, which is the outcome of getting justice. Part two is the sadness that we have a dead five-year-old child who has now been recovered based on the efforts of some incredible investigative work. Talking through the investigation with my troops um, and the troops of the chief, it was apparent to me that nobody was going to sleep and nobody will sleep until justice is brought for AJ. This is the beginning of that process and the process of healing for your community and for the family. But please know that local, state, and federal law enforcement stand side by side to ensure that we follow through and that justice is served. I wanna thank the Crystal Lake Police Department for your incredible professionalism 
and your commitment to keeping your community safe. Thank you for inviting the FBI in to assist you in bringing justice. And I want to give a personal thanks to all of my troops who have been out here 24 hours a day since Thursday morning to make sure that justice is brought. Thank you. You have been listening to this news conference here. Police chief, FBI, as he said it uh, best, this is just the worst case scenario. Uh, they are now reporting that they found the body of this little five-year-old boy, AJ Friend, um, and now his parents among the multitude of charges are, are facing uh, five counts of first degree murder. Uh, let's go into all the details and, and Josh Campbell, uh, former FBI, you know, listening to the news conference along there with me. I mean, just awful listening to the, the FBI agent saying nobody will sleep until justice is brought for AJ. And he'd been just for people who are just tuning in. So he had been last seen, according to the parents, last Wednesday night, they tucked him in to bed. They call police the next morning. They're the ones who report their child missing. Fast forward to, it sounds like from police, it was forensic evidence, it was, it was cell phone data that they got from the parents that led them to the information which led them to this child's body. Yeah, just a terrible case, uh, obviously, and it, I think really shows from an investigative standpoint how quickly law enforcement responds. You have them coming after the first call came out, obviously trying to locate him. And when you go into these investigations, again, you look at them hoping that the person, this is a missing child case right. and not a murder. And so they bring all resources to bear, all hands on deck. And as you mentioned, it appears from this press conference we're told that this was, uh, the case was solved by forensic data off the telephone, what we, or cell phone. What we don't yet know is whether that was text messages, uh, communications between the two. Maybe it was more technical in nature as far as the uh, geographical location, perhaps, where the parents had actually traveled. And so that we'll have to wait and see the court documents, uh, you know, what they specify. But again, authorities leading them to this location and they were able to uh, find the child's body. What is also just you know, stunning here, and again, you look at the charges of murder, uh, but these also these uh, multiple charges of battery as well, uh, which signals you know bodily harm. Um, uh, you know, obviously, this murder is just it's it's terrible to think about. Uh, there, you hear from the FBI special agent in charge. The the one thing, if there's any silver lining, is that you had law enforcement trying to get an answer to this community yep. about what happened to this missing child, and now it's uh, we'll see what the courts do with the parents found wrapped in plastic in uh, some town in Illinois. And again, the Department of Children and Family Services had been involved with the family since this little child's birth. Josh Campbell will stay on it. Um, thank you so much for, for jumping on with me.